If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, if you want to tell me you love my beard, the best way to do it is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, South Carolina releases a sketch of a shooting suspect, and it looks a lot like DMX. Jermaine Dupri responds to backlash he got for his comments on female rappers, and Nicki Minaj has time to clap back at a fan. Let's talk hip hop. Yo, this is funny as hell, right? Because this thing pops up on the news, right? And they're like, yeah, some shooting suspect or whatever. So what happened in South Carolina is that some dude, some random dude, right? Um, shoots somebody like in the lower torso, in the lower body or something like that. The person that got shot is still alive. Thank God, right? Nobody died. But the witnesses are saying that they asked the witnesses, okay, the sketch artist said, what does a person look like, right? And the witness literally says the person looked like DMX. The person knew that it wasn't DMX, right? The person says, though, that he looked like DMX, but with, like, a well-groomed short beard and uh, a nice, like, haircut or a Caesar or something like that. So the sketch artist, like, went into detail and dead ass was, like, sketched a sketch of DMX with a beard and hair, right? Like, DMX is bald, right? But this sketch got DMX with some hair, right? Um, and it was just funny as hell. So, TMZ caught up with DMX and they was asking him like, yo, did you see the sketch or whatever, right? And it was here in New York, right? So DMX was like, hell yeah, I seen it. It was funny as hell, right? And DMX was kind of laughing when he was talking, right? And you know, nobody thinks that it was DMX that did the shooting. Even like the chief deputy in South Carolina was like, I guarantee you that the shooter was not DMX, but yeah, it does look like him, right? DMX was like, that's that South shit. I'm here in New York. They know I'm on parole, right? And DMX just got out of jail he's on parole he can't really move around the country without like permission from his po and all that so you know dmx wasn't out there anyway he got an alibi and all that shit it's just mad funny that um they really sketched it and it looks like dmx well i think they use a dmx sketch to sketch that out right so dmx tells cmz he's like Yo, this is the first sketch that I've seen that had like super detail like that. And he actually gave the sketch artist some props. He was like, yo, that sketch artist did a good ass job though. And then he was saying like, I know, I know what they want from me, South Carolina, right? He was saying they want me to go to South Carolina and do a party and do a show. That's why they trying to do sketches and shit of me. I know, I know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it was mad funny. Um, DMS kind of laughed it off or whatever like that. And it was cool, right? Um, but you know, hey, I hate. <laughs> At least DMX is cool, man. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. All right, so Jermaine Dupri says, after all the calls, DMs, angry tweets, and other messages saying, I'm a major gatekeeper <clears throat> in the hip hop world. Why don't I invest in a female um, who is out here hustling and making a name for herself? I decided to create So So Deaf Female Cypher. Details coming soon, right? So we don't know what it is. Maybe like it's a freestyle kind of thing. Uh, maybe he's gonna put together a compilation. Maybe he's gonna do some kind of rap battle like Into the Thunderdome type shit or whatever it is, right? But this is in response to his comments that he made the other day about female rappers, right? So just so uh, I can catch y'all up on everything if you don't know what's going on, right? Jermaine Dupri did an interview, right? And basically in the interview, they asked him because there's a lot of female rappers that are out right now. And Jermaine Dupri is one of those, you know, producers like a Birdman or Puff Daddy or Master P or Suge Knight if Suge Knight wasn't in jail. Like one of these producers from like back in the day who you know had a lot to do with hip-hop in general right so they ask him his current opinion on hip-hop but more specifically his current opinion on female hip-hop and whether or not he has any favorite new female rap artists right and Jermaine Dupri kind of was like nah hell nah like mm -mm, like female rap is, mm, is whack, it's disgusting, it's, it's, it's trash, basically. He was like, every female rapper is just rapping about sex. Yeah, you was a stripper, so you rapping about your experience on a pole. And this female rapper is rapping about that, her, her experience on a pole, and so on and so forth. And he's like, female rappers ain't really talking about nothing, right? So after he said that, that clip went viral, and everybody on social media kind of blew up, right? And a whole bunch of female rappers and people that know other female rappers that 
that clearly Jermaine Dupri doesn't know came out the woodwork at him and uh, going into his DM and his inbox, letting him know there's Tierra Wax, there's Rico Nasties, there's Me uh, not Meg Thee Stallion, there's you know Young MAs, there's Lady Lux out there. So what are you talking about? Every female rapper raps about sex, right? Yeah, maybe all the female rappers that you may hear rap about sex, or maybe all the female rappers that are on the radio in the mainstream rap about sex. If you want to say a Nicki, a Cardi, a Meg Thee Stallion, but there's more than just those three rappers, right? There's probably 45 or 50 female rappers actively rapping right now, not to mention all the female rappers from back in the day. You got your Queen Latifahs, you got your Lauren Hills, you know what I'm saying? So there's all of that, right? So he came out, he said he was going to do some kind of female cypher or whatever like that. And then he puts up uh, a clip actually of Rico Nasty's double XL freshman freestyle. You can ask about me, I ain't that little IG model rapper bitch that like the pop of lips. I'm the one that's popping. So I guess somebody must have sent that clip to him because on the clip where he put it up on his uh, his Twitter, he also put some fire emojis and everything like that, right? And so I think by now, Jermaine Dupri kind of knows that there are a lot of other dope ass female rappers out there who don't rap about sex. I mean, to include the brat because the brat is signed to Jermaine Dupri. You know what I'm saying? So he knows by now, but but I think that he would just have like an old head moment or something because that's something that an old head would say, right? That's like saying all rap is mumble rap or all rap rappers use auto tune or you know all rappers this or you know what I'm saying? Like Jermaine Dupri really didn't make an educated statement, but I think that the days following that statement, oh, he gonna learn today. You know what I'm saying? So um, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below. So staying with the same subject, right? So after Jermaine Dupri basically said what he said, Cardi B responded to what he said and was like, listen, yeah, I rap about my pussy, so what? My pussy is my best friend, but just because I rap about my pussy doesn't mean anything, I'm only one rapper. This is what Cardi B was saying, right? And then she started to name other female rappers who don't rap about sex all the time. So she talked about um, Kamaya, she talked talked about Rhapsody, she talked about Tierra Whack, and a couple of the artists too, right? Um, so that clip that Cardi B did responding to Jermaine Dupri also went viral, right? Ended up somewhere on Twitter, and then the person who decided to comment on it added Nicki Minaj and said, Nicki Minaj would never, right? And basically what they kind of meant was that Nicki Minaj would never give props to other female rappers, right? And so this is a, a long running kind of rumor or a rumbling within the industry that Nicki Minaj doesn't play well with other female rappers, right? That either she tries to use like her own influence to say or to like give gag orders to other female rappers. Basically, let's say that the MTV Awards is coming up and they want Nicki Minaj to perform, right? But they have another female artist that's going to be there. The rumors are, and these are just rumors that Nicki Minaj would tell MTV, I'm not even going to show up if that other female rapper is going to be there. Now, since she's the lesser known artist, they will tell her, sorry sis, maybe next year so that Nicki Minaj can come because obviously if Nicki Minaj is sitting in the front row of your award show, that's going to be a lot of huge ratings. Plus then Nicki Minaj may perform or something like that too, right? So. A lot of people, even fans and stuff, are painting that narrative about Nicki Minaj. And this is one of them that was on Twitter who said Nicki Minaj would never, right? So Nicki Minaj had time today and she straight clapped back at the girl, right? So Nicki Minaj says, clown tings. Keep my dick out your mouth. Six days ago, Nikki, she's talking about herself a third person, started posting different female rappers on her page. Bitches who wrote raps and respect an authentic come up. Um, y'all, yesterday y'all started this clown combo. Don't fucking mention me. I'm the fucking goat. <laughs> Anybody who don't know that, 
fuck him, right? So that's what Nicki Minaj says, clapping back at this girl, right? Who basically said Nicki Minaj would never, right? And Nicki Minaj is kind of right. Well, Nicki Minaj is not kind of right. She's dead ass right. So a couple days prior to even when Jermaine Dupri started saying this shit, Nicki Minaj was all on Instagram showing mad love to a lot of female rappers, right? And a lot of female rappers were showing love to her, right? To include Lady Leisure, uh, Lady Luck, um, Cuban Doll, Asian Doll, Asian DeBrat, or whatever the fuck y'all want to call her. Um... A lot of, uh, Megan Thee Stallion even, um, there were like other fucking female rappers that I never even heard of, right, that was showing love to Nicki Minaj, right, Billboard Batty, just so many fucking female rappers that were like, yo, Nicki Minaj is dope, and giving Nicki Minaj her props, Nicki Minaj in return was commenting on everything, thank you, I love you sis, heart emojis, kisses, Trina was like, yo, you the baddest bitch, all that stuff, Nicki Minaj was like, Trina, you my bitch, all that stuff, right, and that was before... Before Jermaine Dupri made that statement and uh, Cardi B responded to Jermaine Dupri giving a whole lot of other female rappers props too, right? So basically what it is is that this one fan is continuously just trying to pit, you know, uh, Nicki Minaj against Cardi B when Cardi B and Nicki Minaj probably really ain't even thinking about each other and both of them are giving other female rappers their props, their flowers, and their respects, right? The only female rappers that Nicki Minaj has a problem with is... Is Cardi B and Remy Ma, right? And not because they're female rappers, just because she don't fuck with them, right? And they happen to be females who rap, right? But that doesn't mean that everything that Cardi B says has to do with Nicki, and that doesn't mean that everything Nicki says has to do with Cardi, and they both are giving props and respect to other female artists, right? Um, this whole situation is just crazy, yo, and I like the fact that Nicki Minaj kind of clapped back and was like, yo, do not try to pit me up against Cardi B when all I was doing was fucking chilling and minding my own damn business, and I gave props to female rappers three days before Cardi B even responded to Jermaine Dupri. And she's not saying that Cardi B shouldn't have responded to Jermaine Dupri. It's cool that Cardi B responded to Jermaine Dupri because Cardi B is also right in what she said to Jermaine Dupri too. The only motherfuckers that are wrong in this situation are one, Jermaine Dupri, and two, that stupid ass fan. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure y'all follow Follow me at Johnny Fastlane on Instagram. Y'all already know what to do. Peace.